what's up, 357 fam? It's your boy, Big Dre. And today, we are gonna go over a couple of magazines. One you've seen, it's been around for a few years. And uh, today I'm just gonna take a look at it along with a new magazine I got um, that I think is gonna basically shut this old one down. And I'll show you why. First we have this one, which is the D60 drum mag from Magpul. It's been around for a while. Everybody knows this mag. It's it's a OG veteran in this game. Now, this is a fantastic magazine. The problem with it is this right here. Look, look how big and bulky this is. You know, it's nice to have those 60 rounds, but look how bulky this is. This is just a big round ball essentially. So when you're running this on your gun, you're essentially going to have this, this big massive ball at the bottom of your gun. It, it looks cool, it looks pretty badass, and it'll get you some looks at the range, but at the end of the day, it's not very practical. If you were running this for duty purposes or something like that, it's not going to be very convenient to try and carry that. All right. So here in the last few months, um, a company got together. A couple of companies got together. It shots and right at shots, so they released this new product, and that product is this. All right. This is the Smizer S60 for your M4 or AR. And it's by American Tactical. Um, they teamed up with Smizer in Germany and came up with this magazine. It is identical pretty much to the Surefire 60 round mag, with the exception of this one is made out of polymer. It's very well made. Great construction on this thing. You got some company branding on the bottom. Now, I did go in and color fill some of the lettering on this, uh, but I will tell you that this magazine is built like a tank. It's very sturdy, and uh, it is double the thickness of a traditional magazine, but at the same time, it holds double the capacity. So I'm gonna take this apart. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because the spring tension in this thing is ridiculous. I've never seen spring tension like this on any magazine in my life. So I'm gonna try and do this without punching myself in the face with the spring. <laughs> All right. So here's the spring. You got this little spring on top, which has got your follower attached to it. And it attaches to this connector right here. And then you have the big spring, which goes through the bottom half of the magazine. It attaches to the bottom of this. And then also attaches to this little plate that has the button on it um, to take down the magazine. This actually locks inside of the base plate on the magazine. So you can see the hole right there. When you slide this on, this piece will lock into that hole to lock it in place. But that's the magazine. That's what it looks like without the base plate on it. And I'm gonna put it back together. And you see how easy that was, how quick that was to take apart so you can place it. Um, very simple to take down. You just have to be very careful with the spring because it is under a lot of tension and it will fly out quickly, with no hesitation. All right, there we go. 
now it's back together. So I believe that with this mag, you could actually use this as a duty bag. It is made more like a traditional magazine. And it just slides in and it fits like a regular magazine. It's pretty much flush with your mag well. It's a little bit wider than the actual mag well, but not much. It's basically like having a, a regular mag in there. And so it's more practical. You can fit that in a mag pouch, you know, but if you have a mag pouch that holds two magazines, you can easily fit this in there. Um, it fits in the mag pouch as it's on my range bag. Um, so surely it will work for a duty um, mag. I don't think you'd have any issue with that. Cost wise, this D60 was about 130 bucks. <laughs> The Surefire version of this is about 130 bucks. These MSRP is $69.99, um, but you can find them um, at different places for about $49.99, which is about what this will cost at uh, at Palmetto State Armory, all right? So you get the same amount of rounds as this, and a more carry friendly design for half the price. And the quality is, if not better, is just as good as the Magpul product, the Magpul D60. Built just as good and identical to the Surefire with the exception of this is all polymer with the exception of the springs. So if you're looking for a new mag, and you want something that's high capacity, I definitely recommend this one as of right now. I do still have to get it to the range and uh, put some rounds through it. Um, this D60, I put probably five, six, seven hundred rounds through it. And uh, I've never had an issue. This mag, I haven't used it at all yet. I just got it yesterday. Um, so at the recording of this video, this is September the 26th, 25th, something like that. Uh, 26th. So, as of now, I haven't put any rounds through it. Um, I already recorded this video, but the sound quality was horrendous. Um, so I've had to re-record it and uh, try and do something different with the mic. This new mic I got, I'm trying to feel it out, but it's not working out that good for me. But uh, I'll get it adjusted. I think I, I just need to get this one adapter piece instead of using the one that I have, and that'll make the difference. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you this mag. It's brand new, um, just a few months old. I will be doing a range video comparing this one with the D60. And uh, if I can get my hands on a Surefire, then I'll compare it as well. Um, I do have another mag coming, but that's for a different rifle project that I have going on. And it's an AK mag. So that one, I won't be comparing that one with this one. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, you know, the, the new website is up as of today. And I'm going to be updating the links on everything. So y'all can go ahead and go check out the new site and see the updates that I've made to it and uh, see how magnificent it is. <laughs> but uh, I said, I appreciate y'all, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I will be bringing some deals and stuff y'all's way for the holidays, you know, Black Friday coming up. I'll be looking out for those videos. I'm going to have some different things. So y'all, like I said, check out this mag. Uh, got a couple of more that I'm thinking about getting and checking out. I'm going to do a comparison of everything. And then uh, I've got some stuff coming for the 48. I'm going to be doing a video on real soon. So that stuff should be here in the next couple of weeks. They said be probably next month before it gets here. But looking forward to that. And uh, got some stuff coming for the, the M&P hopefully here real soon too. But to the next one man I appreciate y'all love y'all and uh, definitely most definitely we're gonna catch you on the next one deuces